I've been reflecting on the vice presidential debate, not because I think it's all that important, but because I think it tells us something. We know how good Tim Walls can be with the media. We saw that during the vice presidential selection process and in the days after he received the nomination, as well as in that speech he gave at the DNC. Yet at the debate, he seemed nervous. He kind of bungled his words. Sometimes they didn't make sense. He said, I know a school shooter instead of I know victims of school shooting. The nervousness was very clear. And while I've never debated at a stage like that, I can imagine how one would be nervous. There's something else that needs to be considered here. If you're not used to being on stage with the MAGA world, it is a very strange experience when you do. And I know this only my, from my own experience in the media. When I'm on, say, Fox Nation, I have to remember that they live in an alternate reality. J.D. Vance lives in a reality where there are 25 million undocumented workers. That's more than twice as high as most estimates. He lives in a reality where Trump saved Obamacare when he's so deep into those lies and says, says them with such confidence, it's kind of jarring. And I think that's part of the MAGA tactics and it seems to have worked on Tim Walls, but it doesn't change the reality that not only is J.D. Vance complicit in a dangerous fascist movement, but that he lives in the same alternate reality as Donald Trump and his followers.